Hello everyone and welcome back to Naomi's Bookshelf. Here I am with a tag. I was tagged by Berna's Bookish Adventures for their reading retrospective tag. Um, it was created by Dancing Lawn and I thought it was really fun. I really liked looking back at my year of reading and seeing what left an impact on me and what um, I'd love to share with others. So we're just gonna start straight into it. All of these questions, when they say this year, that means 2019, not 2020. And we're just gonna start right ahead with question number one. The first question is, what book did you read this year that you'd recommend to anyone and why? I have got to give it to The Phantom of the Opera. I was surprised at how much I loved it. Um, it has a mysterious element, it has a romance, it has, paranormal, it has adventure, it has historical, it felt so real. Um, I totally recommend it for anyone and even had some sort of a fantasy like element, maybe magical realism of sorts. So definitely recommend it. I feel like it has something that someone could enjoy, anyone could enjoy about it. Um, yeah, definitely recommend and definitely thought it was amazing, surprising me a lot. So question number two is what book taught you something this year, taught you something new? Um, and for this one, I'm going to go with Rest, Play, Grow by Deborah McNamara. Um, this one was something I read because I found it as a deal. And I work with children, especially under two, under three-year-olds. And so I was like, hey, let's learn something about toddlers. And it actually really was helpful. A lot of the techniques aren't just for toddlers. They're for all children. And I really appreciate that. I've been able to transfer things from the book into my professional life. And it's been very helpful. So I definitely learned something new. And it will definitely be something I want to refer back to as a resource one day. The next one is what book did you read this year that came just when you needed it? And I'm going to say The Heist. I was in a massive reading slump and I was in denial about it. Um, and I still am kind of in that slump. And it was something where I just did not want to read. I did not want to pick up a book. And this book came in, um, the hold came in from the library for the audiobook. I popped it on and I could not stop listening to this amazing, fast paced. It wasn't perfect, but it was so good. And so what I needed to jump me back into reading and it was what I wanted at the time. And I didn't know what I was wanting and I felt obligated to a TBR and that kind of was not there. And it was just, it was liberating. So definitely one that I liked and I cannot wait to continue once the next hold comes in because I really liked the audiobooks of it actually. But yeah, definitely one that I needed at that moment. The next question is what book did, which book did you read this year that will stay with you a long time? Um, and this could mean a lot of different ways it could stay with me, but I am going to go with, I believe there's a few, there's a few good choices, but I'm going to go with The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sagar. This one blew me out of the water as a mystery thriller. Um, and I really loved all of the elements about it and the feeling of being back at camp kind of situation. Um, yeah, that one stands up to me as being pretty incredible. Um, and it's going to be one of those mysteries or thrillers that I'm going to be thinking about for a while and will love to revisit. Um, yeah, definitely one that feels like a summer camp vibe, but I really love revisiting my favorite thrillers and mysteries. So yeah, going to stay with me a long time. The next one is which book did you read this year that expanded your horizons and your push you out of comfort zone kind of idea? This one has definitely, I mean, there was a couple of things that I, a couple of books I could have picked, but I definitely decided to go with The Rosie Project. I have tried reading it before and I really struggled um, based on its writing style. And I mean, it's first person from the man who, from a man who has Asperger's um, or would now be on the autistic scale um, or the autistic spectrum. And so it's something where it's definitely hard to wrap my mind around it and it was hard to get into the first time I tried reading it. But then this year or last year, I picked it up as an audiobook and I actually listened to it and I learned a new perspective and it was really great. It was not an amazing book for me. I gave it three stars and I won't continue with the series, but I'm really glad I finally picked it up um, and actually tried it again and pushed myself to read something that just didn't come naturally to me. So getting in someone else's headspace was definitely pushing me out of my normal comfort zone. So question number six is what are some bookish things slash purchases slash events that you enjoyed this year? So for things that I purchased, I really love these little magnetic bookmarks that I found, but I am notorious. Um, you just snap them on and they stay on, but I'm notorious for buying bookmarks and not using them. So yeah, love them. 
didn't use them. <laughs> and then I also did bullet journaling for the first time in 2019. I did the whole year. Um, one of the things that I loved doing in my bullet journal is if I can pull up a picture, I loved tracking my reading. Now, this is something that I saw first from Books and Lala when she was doing um, plan with me videos, and she did a page tracker. So it's a lot of color, I know. Each color represents a book and then what book I read during that day. Um, so each block is worth 10 pages. So if you can see that, um, some days I read lots and some days I read nothing or very little. And this is just one way I kept track of my reading. I am not doing that right now as I feel like that's just going to put pressure on my slump. However, I'm really enjoying it. I really enjoyed this and I want to do it eventually soon or eventually again. I also really enjoy just bullet journaling in general and writing down what books I read, my star ratings, different things like that. So yeah. Also for events and whatnot, I really, I mean, I started a book too. That was something I did this year or last year and um, I'm really glad that I did. It's been an interesting journey and I am excited to see where it goes from here on out. And I also really love doing the readathons. Um, I felt like there were some that were really amazing and really knocked it out of the park and I am so excited to do them again in 2020 if they happen to appear. So the next question is who have you become closer with in the book community? Whether it be booktube, subscribers, real life, whatnot. Um, and I have found that it was really interesting and I was really glad to have started booktube basically the same time, just a bit after. Um, one of my cousins and right before another one, um, Megan and Sarah, we all kind of started right around the same time and it's been really fun. So yeah, it definitely was something where we are, we were all able to work together on this. Um, another person who I have really, I feel like connected with and I'm slowly connecting with others. I feel like I'm not very, um, extroverted. I'm very much an introvert. And so it's sometimes difficult for me to push myself out there, but I have found I've had some great interests or similar reading tastes with Elizabeth Ann Reads and we are currently buddy reading and I'm enjoying it. I always love buddy reading and I think I'm really going to enjoy buddy reading this whole book with her. Um, and then on top of that, I think Kate Howe, I've really enjoyed doing things along with her channel read-alongs or um, read-a-thons and then also just having some discussions about some books. It's been great. I have one subscriber who does not make videos um, that I have almost always gotten a comment from her and I love all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. Um, but Bobby Sue Davis just, she always comments and she always has something kind to say or encouraging to say or interesting to say. And I just really appreciate Bobby Sue um, when she makes a comment on my video. I She's been pretty constant and I, I love that kind of community building that's been going on and I've only been on booktube for six months and it feels like there is a community starting to build and I do really enjoy that friendship through my comment section. Now in regards to real life, um, I have really enjoyed my new my book club. My book club is a little interesting in the fact that we were run by the library and then the librarian who was in charge left and so we have taken it on ourselves so we, it's really been interesting to get to know each other in the leadership roles um and definitely in taking turns in preparing the or preparing for discussion and all of us just intentionally wanting to be there we all want to be there and reading books together so that's one in real life thing that i have massively enjoyed along with some other friends who um, I've gotten much closer to who also really enjoy reading as well. The next question is what are your favorite book videos from the year? Now this can be taken as videos that you have created or books that or videos that you have watched. Um, and honestly, I can't pick a favorite that I watched last year. There are so many good ones, so many creative people out there who just like push the limits and try new things with booktube and I love it. So I'm going to go with one that I made or a couple that I made and I'm just gonna say the most fun I had was with my sisters. Um, we filmed three videos together as us three sisters and my other sister and I filmed two videos extra together and we're it's just been so much fun filming with them and being with them and getting them to see my element um, since they maybe are not extremely outgoing but they're more outgoing than me typically so it's just been really fun to have bring them into my world and uh we've had a lot of fun doing it so yeah definitely the videos with my sisters are my 
favorite my, my favorite to film question number nine is have you discovered a new all-time favorite book and maybe I think I the storied life of AJ Fickery um, is definitely there it's definitely in those books that I will remember for a very long time and hold very near and dear to my heart so I'm gonna go with that one it is currently on my top 10 books of the year I'll try top 10 books of the year top 10 books ever um, however that might change you never know what books are gonna pop up and surprise you but definitely one that um, is probably new all-time favorite and I will definitely encourage many people to read it if you haven't you should it was my favorite book of last year so definitely recommend reading it yeah the last question is to tag others now i know that some people haven't done this and some people have and it's no longer 2019 but i am going to tag sarah and megan um we started booktube together and i think that it'd be fun to see what their reading thoughts were on from last year so yeah that is the entire reading retrospective book tag. Thank you so, so much for watching and for being with me for the last six months or sooner if you've just recently joined my channel. I really appreciate it. I am definitely looking forward to 2020 as a year of challenging myself, including with my YouTube channel. So thank you again. Please let me know down below if you have an answer to any of these questions. Um, maybe what's your favorite book that you'd recommend to anyone. I might just pick it up and I will see you all next week with another video. Bye.